Top 5 Places to Visit in Florence, Italy Many cities in the world have a special charm about them and leave you feeling like you've just been on an amazing journey. Florence is one of those places. This historic city offers travelers beautiful landscapes, architecture from the Renaissance period, and plenty of museums to visit. If you're planning a trip to Florence soon, then this video is for you. I'll take you through the top five places to visit in Florence so that your trip is filled with memorable experiences. Let's travel together. My name is Max, and if you love traveling and discovering new places, subscribe to the channel to explore the best cities around the world. If in this video you learned something new, smash the like button to let me know. In fifth place is the Basilica of the Holy Cross. The Basilica of the Holy Cross is a Roman Catholic church located near the Ponte Vecchio. The church is the largest Franciscan church in the world and is famous for its marble altar and the 15-foot crucifix that hangs above it. It is the final resting place of such renowned Italians as Michelangelo, Galilea, Machiavelli, the poet Foscolo, the philosopher Gentile, and the composer Rossini. Thus it is also known as the Temple of Italian Heroism. The Basilica of the Holy Cross is open from 6 Lim to 7 PM from Monday to Saturday, and from May to Lim to 7 PM on Sundays. It costs 8 Euro for entrance for adults and 6 Euro for students and individual visitors aged between 12 and 17. The best time to visit the Basilica of the Holy Cross is during the week, as it gets extremely busy on weekends. In fourth place is the Academy Gallery. The Academy Gallery was founded by Pietro Leopoldo, Grand Duke of Tuscany in 1784, and is the world's first art museum. The museum is where you will find works of art that were created during the Renaissance period. It is best known as the home of Michael Angelo's sculpture David. It also has other sculptures by Michael Angelo and a large collection of paintings by Florentine artists, mostly from the period between 1300 and 1600. Today, the museum also contains art from many other famous artists, including Picasso, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, and others. In 2001, the Musée degli Strumenti Musicali collection opened. It includes musical instruments made by Stradivarius, Niccolo Amati, and Bartolomeo Cristofori, which were acquired by the Florence Conservatory. The Academy Gallery is open from 8.15 am to 6.20 pm from Tuesday to Sunday and is closed on Mondays, January 1st, and December 25th. The single ticket regular fee is 12 euros free for children under 18 years old and reduced to 2 euros for European citizens between 18 and 25 years old. It's best to check their website before you go to see what exhibitions they have on display. You can find the link in the description below. Third, the Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio means old bridge in Italian and is one of the most famous bridges in Florence. It's located just a short walk from the famous Uffizi Gallery and is one of the most photographed landmarks in the city. Once, the bridge was home to butchers who would sell their meat from the bridge, hence the name Old Bridge. Today, the bridge houses shops where you can purchase souvenirs, jewelry, and many other things. The Ponte Vecchio was not damaged during the Allied invasion of Florence in August 1944, unlike all the other bridges in the city. According to many locals and tour guides, this was due to an order from Hitler, who wanted it preserved as a testament to German power. In 2005 and 2006, the city council removed around 5,500 padlocks that had been attached to the railings around the bust of Cellini located in the center of the bridge. According to the council, the padlocks damaged the bust and railings and were visually displeasing. Now, attaching love locks to the bridge is punishable by a fine. In the second place, the Uffizi Gallery. The Uffizi Gallery is one of the most famous art museums in the world. The museum first opened its doors in 1790, and ever since then, it has been collecting artwork from some of the greatest artists in history, including Michael Angelo, 
Leonardo da Vinci, and Botticelli. Today, the museum contains priceless works of art, such as The Birth of Venus by Botticelli and The Birth of Moses by Michelangelo. The Uffizi Gallery is open from 8.15 am to 6.30 pm from Tuesday to Sunday and is closed on Mondays, January 1st and December 25th. The single ticket regular fee is 12 euros, free for children under 18 years old, and reduced to 2 euros for European citizens between 18 and 25 years old. Check out the link in the description for more information about the discounts and reservation information. And in the first place, the Duomo of Florence. The Duomo of Florence is the cathedral of the Diocese of Florence and the city's most famous landmark. It was designed by Arnolfo di Cambio, is the third largest church in the world, after St. Peter's in Rome and St. Paul's in London, and was the largest church in Europe when it was completed in the 15th century. Construction of the cathedral began in the Gothic style in the mid-13th century and was completed in the 1400s. The cathedral is known for its ornate architecture and beautiful stained glass windows. It's also famous for hosting the silver baptismal bowl that is used to baptize infants who are members of the royal family. The Duomo is open from 8.15 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. from Monday to Saturday and from 12.45 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. on Sundays. You must purchase tickets for visiting the Duomo's Dome, Baptistry, Museum, and Bell Tower. You can, however, visit the cathedral interior free of charge through the right-hand door at the front. Remember that to enter the cathedral, you must wear appropriate clothing. This means no bare shoulders, sandals, headgear, or sunglasses. Check out the links in the description below to quickly find the best tours for the Duomo. From churches to bridges and museums, there is plenty to see and do in Florence. The best thing about visiting the city is that you can do all of the above in just two days. If you do visit Florence, make sure to explore all of these five places so that you don't miss out on all the best the city has to offer. When visiting any city, it's important to do your research so that you know what you're seeing. This way, you can focus more on enjoying your visit rather than figuring out where everything is. Florence is a great place to visit and there is so much to see and do. Check out our other videos to continue your journey. Let's travel together.